Uh, hi, I'm Max Lin. Uh, I'm from Susa. Um, I was talking about uh, how the fetish dating project works. I currently I and uh, I think you already uh, hear the the, <coughs> the talk from the Ruby. He's a talk. He's a already had introduced a little bit about the staging project and uh, for free to staging project. Uh, I am the late guy, the staging manager. So, so why why we introduce the staging project is uh, where is uh, a long time ago is a. Uh, uh, it's a history. Uh, this is the, basically the factory development model. So uh, the developers submit their, uh, pack, their changes to the factory from the developer project. Uh, but in the past, uh, we just uh, merged those changes into the factory. But we see the same problem. Well, the, sometimes the package fails to build after the merge to the factory. Or sometimes it causes the, the other package fails to build, and uh, sometimes the package, the, the binary file from the package is uh, uninstallable, and uh, sometimes uh, the package is, uh, does not work. And uh, if we have a bigger merge, uh, merge the many submit requests into the factory, and uh, we see the problem, it's very hard to address the problem and the debugging. So <coughs> we introduce the staging project. Uh, to check the loss, uh, submit request uh, is safe to merge to into merge into factory. Uh, so this is uh, the uh, a factory development workflow now. So you see, you uh, developer submit a, uh, submit a layer change, and you have two parts: uh, automatic review and the manual review. Also, we have a uh, Doing the pre-integration testing uh, by OpenQA, and then move it, and then merge it into factory. <coughs> so uh, basically, these three parts is are, are part of the staging project, basically. So I uh, have uh, to uh, introduce uh, the review process first. So basically, you if you create a year, uh, you create a submit request. And you have to pass uh, some automatic review or the manual review, uh, including the factory auto, legal auto, layer automatic tool, and the report check. It, uh, it was also the automatic tool. And uh, manual review is uh, done by the review team. And uh, we probably your submit request have to uh, pass the security or legal manual check if you need. Yeah. So we put a loss uh, summary request into the staging project. Then we build, <coughs> we, we check the build status, and we also generate a staging ISO, and we put the ISO into the open QA. So we, uh, then we doing the some testing on the open QA. Then if everything is fine, we merge the those submissions uh, in the last staging project into the factory. So, but basically, the factory auto is uh, checks the it checks the some basic rules and uh, adds the additional reviewers. Uh, legal auto checking the license and things. Uh, review team is uh, whatever factory review team. I don't know how many people in this team, but they like, doing the human check work. Uh, report checker is uh, doing the more deeper automatic check. I will introduce later. And uh, it also have a two past the uh, factory staging if you basically that means the, you, uh, this submission was passed by the staging project. So uh, currently if you have uh, you submit a uh, change to the factory and uh, it depends on the rings, I will introduce rings data. So if your package is in rings, it will go to a uh, staging project. Uh, for anything to confuse you about it, because I will also introduce the ADI staging project, so I will call uh, this staging project, uh, call it a real staging project, just uh, avoiding the confusion. Uh, but your, if your package is, uh, non, is not in the rings, so you will go to the ADI staging project. 
So currently in the factory rings, uh, we have a ring zero, ring one, ring two. The ring zero, we, we just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Those packages just uh, for bootstrap. And the ring one is basically it can generate a minimal SDVD. And the ring two basically is a pretty much complete DVD compared to the factory image. Uh, the number probably is out, outdated. I, it, uh, it was uh, last week, so I'm not so sure how, how was the number this week. Okay, uh, the, it's a RINS staging project. Basically, they inherited all packages from RINS, and uh, all link the packages will rebuild if you need. And we have a staging and a staging. Staging is a, is a sub project, staging DVD. So, basically, the, basically I call it a staging one. And then you are just uh, avoiding the confuse. So, staging one package is uh, ring zero packages plus uh, the ring one packages. It, uh, uh, it was uh, enabled uh, uh, i5 86 PVC64 LE and uh, SATC64 PUR enabled. And uh, for start project DVD, it's uh, only the PVC64 LE and the SATC64. You are enabled. And basically, the staging project will be based at some point. For example, if, uh, uh, if for example, we merge the GCCs, and basically, those, this, uh, we made merge the GCCs into the factory, basically, it will not affect the staging project. But uh, we have, uh, at some point, we have to replace the staging project. Then it will uh, compile with the GCCCs. Otherwise, it's just still using the GCC file. So it's an example. So the ADS staging project is uh, basically the four long range packages. Uh, it just uh, ensure the package can build uh, against the factory S86-64. So it, it's a very pure, a very pure project that check it view was a success. Uh, the report checker was, not, uh, was involved in the ADI staging as well. Uh, well, the report checker I will introduce later, so yeah, probably currently you are confused why is the report checker. Uh, but the ADI staging project either cannot handle the data request. There's a, a problem for ADI staging currently. Okay, report checker, I basically check the build result, either build result verification, including the, the sub packaging, uh, and it check the binary files is installable. Uh, it checks the, the configs uh, with the other package, and check the source. Well, uh, basically, if uh, you already submit a change to factory, but you also did another change in the default project, uh, the report checker will detect, will detect that, and uh, basically it will disallow your submissions. You have uh, to supersede in the, your uh, submit request, as, send, as well as have the certification in the default project. It also detects a new build cycle compared to factory. Uh, it checks the validation of the data request as far as possible. Yeah, just uh, as far as possible. Yeah, it uh, have uh, some problem there still. Uh, also, if uh, the report checker uh, found any problem on your submit request, you will comment in on your request. So the staging project will generate the DVD and the import to the open QA doing some the QA testing. Uh, it's uh, the details. The, you can just uh, see the test, uh, but basically it's, uh, <coughs> it's by the patterns we created. We have a test case file, so we have uh, put uh, the for staging one, we have uh, basically it builds a minimal SDVD. It, you can, uh, so there's no, GNOME or KD packages in the staging one DVD. So there's the details, so you can check it. 
So the OpenQA testing currently the staging DVD uh, uh, import to the OpenQA we currently covers the uh, uh, normal installation, installation on the partition, uh, installation with the uh, Quabadero VN was enabled, uh, and is a success to install on the UEV environment, uh, put it into the rescue system, some console tools tester, and the desktop environment <coughs> testing. Uh, we also have uh, some the upgrading tester, for example, from the uh, older staging to the current one, or from the Libre 42 one and the two current staging. We just make sure the upgrade work does work. And the very important things are uh, we, uh, we take a lot, those tester just uh, test the stuff were in the staging DVD. So it will not install any package from the online repo. Uh, we have a, a staging tool uh, to process uh, those uh, submissions. Uh, we, for example, it's uh, like uh, the staging list, uh, list uh, how many uh, some request is pending, and so there is uh, uh, selecting the re request uh, to a staging project, and so there is uh, move the, the request out of a staging project, and check, uh, staging checker is a uh, checker status of a staging project, it will tell you uh, maybe there's an error or any problem. Uh, accept, uh, is, uh, accept the all requests uh, in, the, in that staging project to the factory. Our uh, is, uh, I already mentioned uh, that it will replace uh, the packages in the staging project. Uh, the staging ADI is handling the requests in the ADI staging project, and the staging repair command is uh, facing a broken the submissions. So, uh, so if the lost uh, some request uh, in the staging project, if everything is fine, uh, what is the condition of, uh, what is the condition is uh, acceptable? Uh, basically, there's no build failures in the OBS, uh, and in the staging project, sorry. And the old reviewer will accept the list uh, some request, and it uh, also passed the open QA testing, and uh, Basically, we have to wait. The current Tumbleweed Snatcher is built and then move to the open QA so we can do in the next merge run. So basically, if, if you see uh, your package in the one staging project and the last staging project, everything looks good, but uh, the factory risk manager doesn't merge it, probably that is the reason we are waiting for the current uh, Snatcher is finished to build and then move to the Open QA. Uh, we have a staging dashboard. Uh, it uh, shows the information uh, uh, about uh, the status of the staging project. And uh, I can see. Yes, I. The using the different color to represent the what, what things happen. Uh, if you see, uh, if you see your packaging name, it's already green and was. There was means the, the reviewers, all reviewers, including the report checker, was uh, accepted this change. Uh, you see there have a, still have the brown color, and uh, you can see uh, there's an icon tell you uh, it's pending by which review. Uh, in this case, it's uh, pending by legal review. And uh, you can see the stagency, uh, basically, it's ready, just uh, missing the review from the legal, legal team. Uh, if, if everything all are fine, then the, the color will be in green. That means that we can merge this staging project. So I, I have collected some of the FAQs on uh, the people asking on IRC and so, uh, why your uh, some request is back and uh, doesn't move forward? You can check the status on the dashboard. You can you can see this uh, URL. You just uh, change the 
uh, studying project later to year to, to, to year one, and uh, you can see the why the things happen. Uh, yeah, you will tell you uh, missing reviews or there's uh, any problem or maybe the open QA test uh, does not pass. Uh, and the uh, report checker for non-Intel architecture uh, currently is not completely support. Uh, currently, the report checker is only basically works, works for the Intel uh, S8664. And uh, there's uh, a rule is uh, if your if your submission is uh, uh, not for the Intel architecture, for example, PowerPC only or the uh, ARC B only. You have to make sure the list of uh, architecture was is cool. You cannot just uh, disable it. You have to is cool is to build, and uh, you have to make sure the package is built on the Pacific architecture. For example, the PowerPC or ARC. And the current report checker just uh, leave this submission open and uh, for human review. So in the end, the uh, human have uh, to accept this submit request, uh, uh, have uh, to accept this review, not by the report checker itself. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, up upload the report checker log, the whole log to the OPS. You can see the URL there. So if you want to understand what's the problem on your submit request, you can, uh, if, if the, your submit request is a pending, <coughs> pending review by the report checker, you can check a log there, then you can see the reason. Uh, yep, uh, sometimes the people asking why their submit, their submit request was in the ADS staging and already uh, got accepted by the ADS staging, but didn't uh, merge into the fate directly. Uh, basically, the, the rule is that uh, if your submission is in the ring staging project and the, and the factory release manager merge this staging project, those submissions will just merge to factory directory. But if it, it was in the ADI staging project, it have to wait until we have uh, another ring staging project being acceptable and the uh, factory release manager merge this uh, ring staging project, then those submissions already passed in the ADI staging will merge into the factory together. Uh, yeah, currently, uh, we have uh, still trying to improve uh, something uh, around, uh, around the staging project. Uh, we have some to-do list. Uh, for example, we need a better way to ensure the green needle uh, is safe if the uh, green needle change was merged. For example, it's very hard to detect uh, if we're trying to move a package from ring one to ring needle. It probably will have broken things, but we cannot detect it in the staging project. So we need a better way to, to do that. And the data request uh, handling is uh, also a hard topic. Uh, yeah, we are trying to work on that because uh, sometimes we see the lost uh, data request request uh, if the uh, merge the data request uh, probably cause uh, some packages fails to build. But in the report checker, it cannot uh, detect lost situation very correctly. So we have to improve it. And uh, uh, I already introduced the staging dashboard, but it only show, show you the ring staging. And, but for ADI staging, we didn't have any dashboard to work. So, uh, it, but it's a complicated topic because uh, ADI staging basically is a dynamic create. So probably you, you have uh, the more than hundreds ADS staging project, or sometimes you're down to just a dozens or even 10. So you need to have a nice design for this dashboard, or otherwise we, maybe we need a, another way, not, not a dashboard, but a better visual view way that the 
uh, let the developer understanding about the, the ADS staging status. Uh, we also have uh, more tickets in the progress open source org. Uh, if you have any idea or you see any bug, you also can file a ticket there. Uh, so if you have any question about staging project, you can ask on the uh, open source free Twitter RC channel or leave a comment on your some request. Basically, I check those comments uh, every day or direct pin me or mail me. Uh, lost uh, uh, the staging tool or report check the source code you can find there. So that's my talk. Sorry, I have a little bit nervous, so I speak very quickly. I hope you understand why I'm talking about, or if you don't understand, just ask me a question. I can answer you. So, any question? No? Great. Perfect. <laughs> so, thanks for listening. Then, that's all.